The Tajrid Part 1, a selection of Arab abstract art presented by the contemporary art platform in Kuwait, continues to be the biggest retrospective that celebrate and map the abstract movement in the Arab world. The exhibition sheds light on an artistic production that culminated over 50 years of Arab art but needs to be revisited and further researched after three decades of oblivion and neglect. Our correspondent Sarah Glubb was there with this report. The Contemporary Art Platform, or CAP, continued to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the birth of the Arab Abstract Art Movement with the Tajrid Part 1, a selection of Arab Abstract Art Exhibition. So in Part 1 we are focusing on the beginnings in the 40s, where it was really the very beginning, the 50s where it started really becoming a major movement until it reached its maturity in the 60s and the 70s. And we have selected uh, the pioneers and the most prominent artists within this movement from Iraq to Morocco and from Sudan to Syria, hoping that this will allow uh, the Kuwaiti audience to have a look in the absence of a museum that uh, does these uh, activities. So CAP uh, wanted to create this event and give the audience the possibility of uh, seeing those beautiful masterpieces that are mostly coming from private collections. It features a collection of the works of 88 Arab artists born between the years 1908 and 1960. The first chapter of the exhibition presents a panorama of selected artists and artworks chosen for their abstract nature. It is beautiful. In one word, it's beautiful. It's exciting. And I even had a preview because I was here already two days ago with the uh, director of a famous Dutch museum of Cobra. And they looked at the exhibition and they compared it with some Dutch uh, artists who uh, made their work some 50 years ago. They said, wow, this is really beautiful. There's so many comparisons in, in terms of modern art, in terms of, of colors, in terms of expressions. It's fascinating to see it. Although abstract art in the West goes back to 1910, Arab artists did not start producing art within which the references to the visible world disappeared until the mid-1940s. And 70 years after its eruption, the mysteries around the birth of abstraction in Arab art still remain a challenge. I really love it. I also love it the way it's displayed. Uh, which is very important for each exhibition. Uh, and I love this piece because I think it looks like from the view of the bird, uh, it's like a city. From the, it's a, like a city from the, you know, if you would look it down. So I really love it because it, uh, it reminds me of Kuwait. Without the, you don't have roofs like we have it in, uh, in our land. Next door to the CAP exhibition, Jam Arts, also hosted their third annual auction. Well, uh, this, this artist is a very, very important uh, established Iranian artist and I had the show in Dubai. Uh, unfortunately, the artist recently passed away and it's very important for the world to see what, uh, uh, which, how she has contributed to the, to the region and the development of the art market in the region. With the aim of shedding light on productions that culminates over 50 years of Arab art, the part one of the Tajrid exhibition is only the beginning of several other exhibitions that will map out the Arab abstract movements in the Arab world during the modern period with more exciting exhibitions to follow. From the Life Center in Shiweh, this is Sarah Glub reporting for English News.